Good evening. I'm Christopher Zobman, professor of lucidity at the Savant Institute. Some of my students have challenged me to participate in your amusing little program, Survivor, so that I might exhibit and advance my own theories on non-cooperative game playing and expose John Nash for what he truly had, an infantile mind. Not that you'll understand, but my strategy for winning Survivor 7 can best be expressed in a mathematical equation. I commence with my conservative but effective halcyon blueprint. Far too advanced for your limited minds, but the general outcome is easy to understand. It simply allows me to invoke my chimera privilege. By doing this early on, I can then establish both my protean intersection methodology and the Eukalagon parallel. By waving recalcitrant manifestations and employing furtive vigilance, manifold cerebrations of benign grace, the resulting fealty factor will enable the beguiling clandestinity of the adept player, in this case, me. Even when I take into account all of my opponent's prehensile covens, I will only be vulnerable to external duplicity and caprice, or possibly an internal essentia breach. The game proceeds thusly until the lodestar mutation is implemented, which in turn leads to the Cybeline Elysian conception. In the unlikely event of aberrant phenomenon, the abstruse Phoenix mirror anomaly must be applied. This approach guarantees me a chance to use the alien archetype to reestablish ataraxia and will come to fruition with the inveigle agreement. The proof of my theory can be verified with this unmistakable syllogism, and with it, my rightful place at the head of the survivor pantheon is guaranteed. But I know what it really takes to get onto survivor. Oh,